Well, a local camp for children with cancer and their siblings is getting to return to in person camp this year and joining us with more is the executive director of Horizon Day Camps, Mark McElrath and the mother of a first time camp participant. We have Melanie Cabia. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us. You're welcome. And Melanie, I want to start with you and Noah. How exciting is this to be able to go ahead and go back to camp? Oh, it is so exciting. Last year, it was so devastating not to be in camp on person. Noah is Horizon Day Camp's very first camper ever. Six summers ago, when he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, he um, had a chance to go to camp with other kids that had cancer and their siblings and really find another home away from home. And so we are so excited to be able to return to in-person camp this summer. So Noah, you're like the big man on campus then, like you know all the ins and outs. You probably are like the welcoming committee. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy to be a first camper. I never thought I would be, but I made so many friends there and it's so awesome. I bet, and we're gonna talk about your band in just a second, but first I want Mark to explain to people who have never heard about this camp before, the opportunities that kids can have there. Okay, thank you, Jen. So, the, Jen, the last time you and I visited was last summer. We were in the middle of our virtual summer camp experience, and that was really so successful and enjoyable by all measures. We're going to continue to offer that as a secondary option for our Horizon families, but we're most excited, uh, as you suggested, to return to our in-person camp. We're at Boys Latin, which is a wonderful private school on the Baltimore City, Baltimore County line, but uh, Horizon Day Camp, but, to add a, a broader context, we're a local organization that's based in Baltimore, but we serve children all across the state of Maryland, as far south as Washington, D.C. We're part of a larger organization that's called Sunrise Association, and our mission is to uh, help return the joys of childhood to children who are dealing with pediatric cancer. That includes siblings as well, and we accomplish that in a few different ways. We host our free full summer day camp. We also work closely with uh, the University of Maryland, uh, Johns Hopkins, Sinai Hospital, and Children's National to provide in-hospital programming. Same concept as summer camp, providing that joy and goodwill to the kids. And when we're not in summer camp, we're providing year-round fun day reunion programs. But as far as the camp, to answer, to answer your question, uh, we have all of the activities that you might think of when you think of a traditional camp. So we have the arts and crafts and the music and the, and the science and we also bring in uh, many of the, the great organizations from the region. So the, the children's museums and, the, and the, the local sports teams and the science centers and art organizations. But everything we do really is about providing fun for the kids, helping them forget about some of the other challenges they may be facing. At the same time, we wanna help them develop friendships and interpersonal skills, build their confidence, and just have a wonderful summer. And Noah, for you, that's got to be fantastic. And mom, I mean, to be able to have your kids in a, in a normal environment, to be around other kids who know exactly what they're going through, can you guys both speak to that? I mean, it's really just amazing. I mean, Noah's been able to make some great friends, and there definitely is a special bond that children with cancer and their siblings have with each other because they're going through something um, traumatic and um, sometimes the really tough challenges. But at camp, that all that kind of disappears. I always say that Horizon, there's a sunrise on the horizon at Horizon Day Camp um, because it really truly is a light in the light in the lives of these kids um, who are going through so much and their siblings who are also going through the journey. And they really do a great job just wrapping their arms around the whole family. So we're pretty excited about this concert, um, summer concert series. Well, the summer concert series, because Noah, you're going to play. What's your instrument? And you're going to kick it off, right? I'm going to play drums. Drums is the best. I love <laughs> Drums is your life, it sounds like. That's awesome. And then, Mark, if people want to get involved, how can they reach you? Sure. So the best first step is to log on to our website, which is horizondaycamp.org. That's horizon with an H is in happy. That's a good place, whether it's on the philanthropic side, whether it's parents who want to register their camps. And on that note, Jen, I would like to say that probably our greatest message this morning is we want your viewers to know that we do exist. So if, if, uh, if they uh, encounter some neighbors or colleagues or family or friends, whether now or in, or in the future, who may be dealing with this type of crisis, uh, we, we certainly want them to be our messengers and help let them know that we exist. It would be our privilege and pleasure to welcome as many kids as we can for a, a wonderful summer this summer and, and years, in the, years ahead. Fantastic. Noah, if we'd known you played the drums, I would have had you beat us out to our commercial break. Next time, okay? 
Yeah. yeah. Well, just join us on July 28th at White Marsh at the Avenue. We'll be there, Noah and the Rainmakers. I love it, you guys. Thanks for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it and stay with